Alrighty, so I haven't really uh, prepared anything for today. Um, I just wanted to put together a little video about the, the King Skink, uh, Elvis, of course, who is basking right next to me here. Uh, you can see his enclosure here. I've got a few snaps of what he gets up to during uh, a couple of hours of his day. I thought it was quite interesting to see you know, what he actually does uh, while I'm not around and while I'm not watching what he's doing. Um, so you'll see that in a couple of minutes. I just want to preface there's a bit of a flash warning with uh, lights being connected to thermostats. The, the lights come on and off a bit and that doesn't click too well with the time lapse. But uh, regardless of that, you can see this fella here. Uh, he is, of course, as I said, the King Skink, as you can tell from the title of the video as well. Uh, these guys are found mostly in Western Australia. Um, he's a pretty cool critter, I'm not going to lie. He's probably one of my favourites here, although don't tell everyone else that. Um, just something a bit different, to be honest. Um, very similar, I suppose, to the, the Cunningham skinks, which are a pretty common species down here in Victoria, especially uh, in private hands. Um, some people even say they like the Western Australian version. Uh, that's pretty comical, to be honest. But um, Yeah, look, the, the setup's pretty straightforward. I mean, you've got plenty of uh, rock rock structures being a crevice dwelling skink being an agonia of course um, I've tried to incorporate plenty of uh, enclosure complexity as well into this uh, setup uh, so obviously you've got the background, the background was originally done for a centralian carpet hence why it is bright orange um, and then obviously you've got different climbing options and things like that I have found out of all the animals that I've done something like this for Elvis does seem to be the one that uses it the most. I often find him up along the, the back wall there chilling out, so it's quite good to see. Uh, I do also plan on upgrading him fairly soon to something even bigger. Um, I just want to give him a bit of extra space, um, especially if I have you know the ability to accommodate that. I think, you know, why not? Um, if you've got the space, why not give the animals that, you know, bit of extra room. I'm thinking something potentially, you know, closer to uh, a 180 long by maybe 90 tall, by probably 90 deep, something along those lines. Something just with a bit of extra size to it, because I really think he's going to use it, because um, he is a very active lizard uh, compared to things like your blue tongues and that sort of stuff. Um, at the moment, he's in a, a 120 by 60 by 60, which is adequate for the time being. Um, and, you know, obviously he's a decent sized lizard. Um, but I just think I want to give you know really spoil the the king himself. Why not? Uh, so that's on the cards for the future. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw you over to the time lapse, um, and there you'll see what he gets up to. I think there's about three hours worth of footage, give or take, on the time lapse there. So you can see what he gets up to during his day, um, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, enjoy. Alrighty, so this first bit of footage was recorded between 10 and 11 o'clock, give or take. He spends most of his time under the basking spot. The lights have been on for a couple of hours, but he's really only just woken up. The uh, second portion of the footage is a little bit later in the day and for a bit longer, um, and he spends most of his time away from the heat lamp, but still up in that higher elevation, which was quite interesting. Normally, he spends a lot of his time on the other side of the tank, up in that back corner, but today he decided to sit a little bit closer to the heat spot. Now, of course, as the day heats up, the thermostat will control the lighting, hence why the flickering occurs. Um, but as you can see, he spent a lot of his time up in that, that corner still. Um, as I said previously, this is a little bit of a, a different spot to where I normally spot him. Normally, he's on the other side of the tank. Quite interesting. Alrighty, so that'll do us for today's video. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed something a little bit different. Um, whether I'll do any more of these, who knows. Um, I just kind of pick up the camera for these sorts of things whenever I feel like it, to be honest. Uh, hence why there's very sporadic uploading. Um, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed seeing some footage of Elvis the King Skink. You can see him just chilling out there. Um, what was I going to say? Feel free to uh, follow all of my reptile shenanigans on Josh's Aussie Reptiles on all platforms. Um, myself and Dane from Blue Horizon Reptiles have got a podcast going. It's called Critters and Stuff. Um, I share the links very regularly on my social media pages. So feel free to give that a listen if you're interested in what we get up to and what we're talking about. Um, we focus a lot on reptile stuff, but also you know daily life stuff. Um, so if that's of interest feel free to give it a listen. Um, otherwise, that'll do us for today. Hope you enjoyed. Um, and there's Elvis there. So we'll see you next time.